What is going on fellow web developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're continuing our Discord JS application. Now there's a couple of things I need to fix from last time. Well there's one thing I need to fix from last time is the interaction create event listener. But I accidentally left once inside of the interactions create which caused some people a couple of issues. All we have to do to fix this issue is delete that and you should no longer get any more errors after you enter your first command. In this video we're going to be creating a welcome message so we can actually get a welcome and a goodbye message when someone joins and leaves our server now to do that we actually need to head over to our discord's developer application area um, let's just go back to applications you can see uh, so the developer portal we need to go into our bot and then we need to click on bot and scroll down to privilege gateway intents now intents are what allow you to have specific features and the one we need to do uh, to check if mem when a member joins and leaves is this uh, surfer members intent I turn that on it's already on for me just turn it on uh, if, yeah it pops up saying save so just do that hit save and there you go that should be done also I've enabled the other ones you can as well if you want to follow along to talk we're probably going to need them later on so I've got those all on and ready to go so now that's done we can actually head back to our code and then once we're inside of here, we can create two new files. So the first file we're going to create is something called guild member add.js, if I can type. And then what we need to go is interaction. Let's copy this code and paste it in here. Um, hit save and close this. Now inside of here, we just need to change the interaction to create to be guild member add. And the execute actually just bring through a member and not the actual interaction. Now we can go in here and delete all of this. Now, if we just log this and we say um, new member, uh, and then we'll just say member like that. There we go. Guild member adds just like that. And that should now hopefully log for us. So we've got this new one. And obviously we have inside of our bot, we actually have an event listener here, which sets up all our events. So if you haven't seen this video, go back to the previous ones. And I suggest watching them all to actually know where we are for this. We need to actually turn on our surfer. God, I'm so sorry. I forgot to, but we, we have this package.json um, with a dev script. We just need to run to actually start our bot. So guys, don't forget to start your bot. I apologize. I forgot to do that. Um, and now here we go. So that says registered commands locally. We're going to full screen this. And now we can go to our alternate accounts. I have a separate account here so, so I can join and leave the server. Hit join. And there we go. We've now joined. Now you can't see anything happening in our welcome yet. But if we go back here, we should get our command. No. Now there's a reason for that. So let's drop this down. We need to actually go into our bot. And up here where you see intents, we need to add a new one. So under messages, we need to say intents dot flags guild members, just like that. Hit save. And now if we go back to our discord on our old account, leave the server. And now let's rejoin the server. So click join. We should now see we have our message. And there you go. You can see here if we scroll to the top here, it says new member, guild member, and it gives us the guild. It then will give us some other things like nickname, timestamp, deleted, all this stuff. And then also the user itself, which has its ID, the bot, the system, everything else we need to know about the user. So there's two ways we do it. We can either do it this way where it says joins the surfer, name join the surfer, and I'll show you both here. Or we could do an embed. You can see it says new member, welcome, uh, with a little message, the username, and then today at whatever time of day that is. But there you go. So now let's head into our member ad and let's actually get it to log that then. So what we want to do is we just want to go member.guild because we want to get the actual guild channels dot cache cash dot get and now we need to actually pass through an id now in the next video we're going to be adding a database to this where we can actually store information like the welcome surfer and stuff like that or the welcome channel but for now what we're going to do is we are going to head over to our um discord and we're going to right click on it and click copy id now if you do not see this you can enable it by going into so to enable developer mode to be able to copy the id we need to go to this user settings cog, cog go to appearance scroll all the way to the bottom 
sorry, advanced and turn on developer mode here. So developer mode exposes content menus to make it easier for the API. There we go. So just turn on this, go back, and now we can right click copy ID, go back to our uh, code and paste this ID in. So there you go. Your ID will be different to mine, so make sure you definitely check out yours. And then we can do dot send. And then you can see here, we can do member.user username using our um, back ticks here with um, string interpolation um, and then has joined the surface. So let's go to bottom and wait for our ghost to come online and register the commands. And while we're waiting, we can actually leave the surface. Let's just leave this surfer. There we go. And there we go, successfully registered commands locally. So now let's head back to this and let's rejoin the surfer. There we go. And you can see it says Tyler Potts Alt has joined the surfer. Now we can actually tag the person by instead of doing username, we can just say dot user. And now this will actually, so let's leave the surfer and rejoin once again and click join. People are gonna get really annoyed with my surfer. I apologize, but here we go. Tyler Potts Alt has joined the surfer. And there we go. So that's how we join. But now we want a new members, um, an actual new member embed. So let's create an embed. Let's go back here. Let's just comment that out for now. And underneath here, we're gonna say const new member embed is equal to new discord dot mess oh, dot message embed like that but now this isn't going to work because we have no reference to actual discord so what we need to do is above our module export we're going to say const uh, discord is equal to new or sorry equal to require discord.js just like that and now this will work so let's get rid of this uh, this semicolon and underneath this we can say set color and we're going to use one of my brand colors so we're going to say 1e5b you can use whatever color you want and all that does is it sets the sets this color on the left edge here so people can actually see that um so let's go back here and then under here we're going to set a title so we're going to say set title and I'm gonna say new member. We're gonna say set description. And yep, member has joined the surfer. We hope you enjoy your stay. Again, we're tagging the member here, like we did in this here where we tagged the member. We're gonna be tagging the member here so he gets notified. We're then gonna set an image. Now we're gonna set the image to be the member.user.afa tar url and this isn't going to work because i don't actually have an avatar just as yet but we should hopefully be able to get that um later on and let's just go up here to double check it's called oh it's just avatar but i think once i have a url it will show it might be avatar.url we'll find out you know we'll leave that there and then we will also log this as well so we can check so log member dot user dot avatar just like that because it shows their avatar and we're probably going to need that so let's leave that there and we'll say avatar here as well we're then going to go underneath this and go set timestamp and this is just going to be a timestamp we set so we know when the user joined finally we can say member actually we could just copy this here this whole up to the send and then what we could do is say pass through an object which says embeds and we could pass through an array and we then need to just pass through new member embed just like that so let's just break this down so it's a bit more visible for you guys also i'm sorry if it's zoomed out i forgot to zoom in since last time um and there you go apologies if that was too zoomed out and you couldn't actually see it so let's wait for ghost to oh wait let's just make sure it's definitely saved and then let's wait for ghost to actually come back online and then we can actually test this out so we've set a color oh we need a hashtag there we are missing a hashtag lucky i, I selected that let you let me he does not want to let me put a hashtag down and it's because i'm pressing the wrong key my bad there we go so we got a hashtag we got the title and we've got the rest of it so let's go back to our surfer let's leave the surfer leave surfer and then let's try and join again. So we join. I'll just look around. And there you go. It says new member Tyler has joined the surfer. We hope you enjoy your stay. Now the issue we have here is we don't have our, um, a profile picture. So let's see if we can get that working. 
Okay, so I have noticed a couple of things wrong here. Firstly, we have to actually set thumbnail and not image. We need to actually have a thumbnail. And secondly, I think we can go here and say dot user dot display avatar URL like that. And hopefully this should give us the desired results. So let's go back to the server. Let's rejoin. And there you go. You can see here, Tyler Potts has joined the server. We hope you enjoy your stay. And it shows the avatar on the right side, which is awesome. So that is exactly what we wanted. And now we have it. So next up, we just need to go back to our thing. And we're going to copy this here. We're going to create a new event. We're going to create a new file. Call it guild member remove.js. We're going to paste this in. We're going to rename this to remove. We can actually remove the discord.js because we're not going to be using an embed for this one. All we're going to do is we're actually going to just delete this. And up here where we have join the surfer, we're actually going to say has left the surfer. Just like that, just so that's all set up. Let's just check our console is ready. So let's save. Ghost is online. I think it will work from ghost is online for this one. So let's just leave surfer, leave. And if we go check actual discord, it did not it did not work that was a complete lie apparently i need to wait for it to register the uh successfully registered commands because it does not like that and there we go so let's go there you go register commands let's rejoin the surfer so let's see if we got embed again there you go we got embed and finally if we leave the surfer we should go back to discord and it says here tyler Potts has left the surfer there we go guys so that is it for this tutorial um let me know what you want to see next i'm thinking about either doing message commands or the database i think actually the database will be next set hooking up a database so we can actually set a new met or the welcome member without having to hard code the id um, and then once we've done that, we will start working on more stuff like uh, music bot feature. We're going to have a uh, surfer info feature and a bunch more. So guys, if you're excited for that, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. And also, if you're new around here, don't forget, you can join this Discord surfer. It's pretty awesome. We have a lot of cool people. Let's head over to Chill Chat. You can see it's pretty active. We've had a lot of conversations today already um, and it's going well. So guys... If you're excited, if you're new around here, you know you know what to do. Join, join, join us. Subscribe. Become a member if you want. If you want to get some extra benefits, there's a join button down below. Have a look at the benefits you can get there. But for now, guys, thank you for joining this surfer. And peace out.